So today I'm going to talk about um, one house plant in particular, and it is this right here. This is a lucky bamboo. These can be found pretty much universally um, at garden centers and at big box stores like Home Depot or uh, Lowe's. And I'll post a picture of what they usually come like. They uh, usually come with like a swirl at the bottom. And there is a long sordid story about why this one doesn't have that anymore. And this video is going to be about Lucky Bamboo care tips. I'm going to tell the story of this plant, um, what it has gone through and survived, and hopefully it helps um, you guys with caring for a Lucky Bamboo if you have one or are going to get one. So from my understanding, these are not a true bamboo. They're more of a reed. Um, so their care is going to be slightly different, if not dramatically different from how you would care for a true bamboo. Um, generally, these, at least for as a house plant, are just in a container of water. Um, you can pot them up in soil, and that is something that I experimented with, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So this one used to be very, very tall. It's a, a plant that my friend had for years and years and years, and it got very, very healthy and very, very big. It was maybe three or four feet tall. It was getting very, very top heavy, very covered in leaves. I was trying to help her take care of it and trying to find solutions for keeping this thing from falling over. Um, and so I went down the rabbit hole of researching Lucky Bamboo, how to care for it. And there was a little bit of conflicting um, stuff at the time. But what I finally found was that, yeah, you can have it in water or you could plant it out. Um, so what I ended up doing was I put it in a bigger container, a vase or a vase of water. And since it was so top heavy, I had to kind of like anchor it to the sides of the vase and in order to keep its roots and the whole thing straight in the vase. Um, but this is when the, the problem of having a plant in water uh, began. Um, and to anybody that's had plants in water, they'll kind of see where I'm going with this. The water can start to turn over time if there's a lot of it, if the plant's not taking it up. This, for instance, is a very small vessel. Right now it's um, mostly dry. But the the vase that I had this water in with the Lucky Bamboo that was three or four feet tall, um, it couldn't drink all the water. So the water was creating a basically bacteria um, with the relationship between it and the roots. And it smells like sewage, basically. Like it smelled, <laughs> this is a reed, so it smelled like the environment you would find this in, maybe like a pond or something. Um, and so I would have to change the water First, it was maybe every month, then it became every week, then it became multiple times a week. And like throughout this process, I began to learn that something didn't seem right. Like this shouldn't be happening. I'm doing something wrong. And then the plant started getting sick. It began to yellow from the bottom and all the leaves were yellowing and starting to die. And then I 
I knew I had to do something or we were going to lose this plant. Um, so that was when I tried to plant it in a pot because I had learned like early on that like it was doable because, you know, again, um, there's no such thing as a house plant. You can plant these. Um, but I think it's a combination of maybe the potting medium was not right, but more than that, the plant was already sick and too far gone. So despite planting it in soil, the, um, the sickness that the roots and the base of the plant had taken in, there was obviously some kind of bacterial or infection or something that was causing it to yellow and die. It was too far gone. So I want to caution people that like, if they have a lucky bamboo, it's getting to a huge size like that. What I did there is not going to be your solution. Um, because it's just going to get sick. And so the, the end of this story is essentially I, in order to save this plant that was three or four feet tall, I had to cut off the top where it was not sick. I cut it at a point very close to the top and then put it back in its original um, vessel that she had bought it in, which was this little thing here. Um, and it's been doing fine since then. Um, I expect some years from now, if it continues to get huge again, then I'll have to figure something else out. Maybe I'll try potting it again. But that is the story of what can happen with a very, very healthy Lucky Bamboo um, and trying to experiment with putting it in a new home and failing um, with that new home. So it's a little bit of a cautionary tale. So I hope that helps narrow down some options and different directions you can go with uh, Lucky Bamboo Care. And yeah, don't don't kill your plants, guys. <laughs> I came close to killing this plant and um, had to cut it back significantly, significantly in order to save it. 